Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of calculating unit rates. This is standard 7.4b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 8 off the 2022 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So Imani is comparing the number of fluid ounces per bottle of sunscreen to the cost. So she's trying to find these four different brands, W, X, Y, and Z. Which brand has the greatest cost per fluid ounce? All right, so typically when you're buying, you're looking for the cheapest. But in this case, we do need to find the greatest cost. That's good. And this cost per fluid ounce is actually going to help us because when we see this per, that means we're looking at a rate. You can almost see that as a ratio. You can almost see that as cost per or as a ratio fluid ounce. And so that actually tells us what we can do here. We can take each of these brands here and we could take, so let me start with W as an example. We could take the cost, that's 12, per fluid ounce. And so we're just going to see which of these ends up being the greatest. So this is a fraction here. So we can end up, let's see, reduce that. Uh, that's six tenths. All right, so six tenths. So we can do 0 0.6. What we're wanting to do is we're wanting to get these into decimal form. Sometimes we can do a fraction like that, uh, but take a look at like x. X is cost 11.25 per fluid ounce 15. Yeah, we are going to need to uh, just divide that. So let's do that up here. Let's do 15 into 11.25. So 15, let's see, times 6 is 90, times 7 is 105. Five, so I think it's going to be times 7. Yeah, that's going to get me uh, 7 left, 75. There we go. So that is going to be 5 times. Exactly. All right, so x equals uh, 0 0.75. Let's make that 0 0.60 so we can compare. Right now, x is the largest. Let's just keep going to brand Y here. Brand Y cost per fluid ounce, 6.5 over 10. All right. I know when you divide by 10, uh, that 6.5 tenths, right? You just, look at this, you can do 0 0.65 tenths. Or what you do is you just take the 6.5 and you divide by 10. You just move the decimal over once to the left. Either way, that's our Y. So right now, X is still our largest. That was kind of easy here. And take a look at what we have for Z. We've got a few options for Z. Z is 2.5 over 5. So if we want, we can always divide that. But I will show you a different way in just a moment. You could take your 5, divide it up into 2.5. And you see the decimal is going to go there. 5 goes into 25 five times, right? So the answer is going to be 0 0.5. Or if you can get this as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000, you get your decimal points. I'm going to multiply that by 2 over 2. 2.5 times 5 times 2 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10, 5 tenths. So you see how either way I got this 0 0.5. All right, so let's look at our four options here. 0 0.60, 0 0.75, 0 0.65, 0 0.50. I'm looking for the greatest. That is going to be G brand X, 0 0.75. 